begin. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Corpus Christi Parish. Thank you for coming. As we dedicate our life to the sacred heart of Jesus in June, let us draw near the Lord, who is full of mercy and redemption. Also, as you can see, I do not have a pianist tonight, so we will sing the four songs a cappella. Please join me. <laughs> Our main celebrate at this Mass is Father Enrique. Uh, the deacon assisting is Deacon Monty. And we will start with the summons. I think you all know that. And thank you to the person who put this thing here for my cane so I do not embarrass myself again. <laughs> Please stand. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. We are glad to preside this Mass and to be with you. We have today a baptism. We make the introduce right right now. Tonight for baptism, we have Jewel Celestial Soriano, and her parents are Ray and Narcisa Soriano. So welcome this evening with us. And what name have you given your child? Jewel. And what is it that you ask of God's church? Baptism. You have asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training her in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? Godparents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Jewel Celestial, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy in its name. I claim you for Christ our Savior with, by the sign of his cross. I now trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. The marking of the sign of the cross is a powerful symbol. In ancient times, warriors uh, would be marked by their general, their emperor. And if they bore the sign of the emperor, they were entitled to all the rights of the emperor. And now, Jewel bears the, the mark of Jesus Christ. 
and will soon be entitled to all the rights and privileges of being a, one of Jesus' and God's children. Thank you, Deacon Monty. And also when we mark with the sign of the cross is the way that we greet our God, who is Father, who is Son, and who is the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge in sin and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the brokenhearted. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call sinners to yourself. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We say together the glory. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. We offer this Mass in honor and the rest of the soul of Gerald Champ. Let us pray. O God, a strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal fertility can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please see A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branch, tear off a tender shoot, and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain heights of Israel I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit, and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, and every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The word of the Lord. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name most high, to proclaim your kindness at dawn, and your faithfulness throughout the night. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. The just one shall flourish like the palm tree, like a cedar of Lebanon shall he grow. 
They that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. They shall bear fruit even in old age, vigorous and sturdy shall they be, declaring how just is the Lord, my rock in whom there is no wrong. Lord, it is good to give thanks to you. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. May the word of God be always on our minds our lips, and forever in our hearts. Jesus said to, his, to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as, as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, to what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
we live in a world where people expect immediate gratification and results. When we have a headache, we take aspirin to feel better. When we are hungry, we can microwave a quick meal. When we are thirsty, there is always something nearby to drink. If we seek pleasure, there are so many possibilities on internet, TV, and in person to sat satiate our desires. We do not like to wait for anything. Why do I bring all these things up today? Christ compares the development of the reign of God that of the seed. Once a grain is cast into the ground, nothing is needed except to let time and nature take their course. It is useless for the farmer to become uneasy and wear himself out with violent effort. He may continue to live his everyday life while the seed develops quite naturally and the plant reaches its fruit fruit growth. The reign of God is like this grain of wheat. Once sown, sown the preachers of the gospel, it will infallibly grow to point of maturity, which God alone knows. There is nothing to do but wait with firm home. Christ will appear to gather the harvest when the time comes. The growth of the reign of God is compared to the growth of a mustard seed. The plant is well known in Palestine, where in the warmer regions it reaches the dimensions of a tree 10 to 13 feet high. All fishes, which seem to be particularly fond of the mustard seeds, come and flocks to perch on the branches of the tree to eat the seed. Jesus is taking, talking about planting seeds without knowing how they will grow and prosper. I have found this to be true in ministry. I usually have no idea how God uses my words in preaching to touch the lives of others. It may take maybe 10 years or more to germinate in some, someone's heart what I have said. If I base my identity on getting immediate, immediate, immediate results, I may get easily depressed. The Lord invites us to trust others to His grace and His care. Our responsibility is to sow the seeds, and then we have to trust God to do the watering, nurturing, and harvesting. This does not mean that we just sow seeds and walk away. No, there, is, there are times that we need to go walk with someone for a long time, but we should not expect to always see the results. In ministry, we sow, and someone may reap the harvest many years later. Or sometimes we reap in places that we have not sown. Our job is to share the love of God with others and to do so generously. We are called to sow the seeds of faith in our children. We are called to help people who are in need. We are called to serve others without expecting anything in return. You may not see the results, but that does not matter. So the seeds and trust them to the care of the Father. Especially when you are parents, you want to plant good seed 
in the hearts of your children. Today, these parents, they brought this little baby because they want to plant the seed of eternity. They brought here to receive the baptism, receive faith, receive the grace of the Lord. But maybe some of our children, they continued in our faith. Maybe some of them, they are not. But your responsibility, your blessing is to bring them to close to Jesus. The point today in these parables, the point is the comparison in the contrast between the smallest of the beginnings and the marvelous vastness of this expansion. No less astonishing will be the disproportion between the beginnings of the reign of God and its increasing growth. In the parable, our Lord has described the growth of only one mustard seed, for unity is one of the features of the reign of God. The grain sown by Christ has germinated and grown, but it has not changed its nature. The history of the reign of God in the world is reproduced in the personal life of Christians. From the seed of grace, <coughs> which seems to lie dormant in the soul of the newly baptized infant, God will cause virtue to unfold. He fills the gods an example of a saint with such potent life that his influence radiates throughout the whole world. After the example of Jesus Christ, who preached the reign of God to an audience of poor folk and an obscure providence, province of the Roman Empire, it is in loneliness that the most powerful spiritual forces must take root. One day, the little monster seed that you saw may turn into one of the largest, largest, largest trees you have ever seen that will give shelter and shed shade to many others. Are you generous in sowing the seeds in your family, with your friends and around you? Are you willing to patiently walk, walk with the faith of journey with someone? Remember, we trust in the Lord. Our hope is in Him. If we trust in Him, we have the hope that everything will be right because we put everything in His hands. Today we have the opportunity to seed, to put the, to plant the seed, and especially to trust in God. Today, Deacon Monty, I ask, because it's properly for the deacons to baptize, then he will introduce introduce this little baby in our church. It's the way that we plant the seed. We have hope that with the care of their parents and the godparents, and especially the family, when they pray together, when they read the Holy Scriptures together, they start to watering, especially the spiritual life in the baby. Also, when the children, they see their parents trust in the Lord, they pray and they gave a good example how we need to be a Catholic, how we need to be a saint, the seed start to grow up. Today we have the opportunity to be a witness, all of us, and how the Lord he will start to work. Few weeks ago, we saw 48 kids, they received 
the Holy Communion for the first time. Maybe in the future, many of them, they will get married. Some of them, maybe they consecrate their lives to serve the Lord in any vocation. And this is a blessing for us. Thank you, all of you, especially your plant and your children and your grandchildren through prayer, through your example, the word of God in their hearts. Let us offer our prayers and petitions. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized, on her parents and godparents and all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light. Give her the new life of baptism and welcome her into your holy church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make her faithful follower and a witness of your gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lead her by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear. hear make the lives of her parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear. hear. Keep her family always in your love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we call upon the angels and the saints to be with us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and St. Paul, Pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. St. Mother Teresa, pray for us. And all holy men and women, pray for us. Could you unbutton her so I can get to her chest just a smidge? That's good. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, of spirit and evil. To rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and to bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set her free from original sin. Make her a temple of your glory and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We anointed you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oil was a powerful symbol in ancient times. It gave health and it also gave strength and it also helped you to resist your enemy. When a warrior would go into battle, he would put on oil. And so if the enemy grabbed him, he could quickly pull away. And we use oil so that one day, if need be, Jewel will be able to resist the power of Satan and pull away from his grasp. May you have strength in the power of Christ our Savior who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life in abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Water is the main symbol of baptism, of entry into our Christian faith. Listen to this prayer and see the history of how it, water destroys, but more importantly, brings life. Father, you give us grace through the sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. 
In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It's a long prayer. We're getting there. <laughs> Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give to the water this font the grace of your, of your Son. You created man in your own likeness. Cleanse him from sin and new birth by innocence of water and spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism also rise with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now... Dear parents, godparents, and all of you present, you have, you have come here to present your child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. And our response is, I do. Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? I do. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Parents, is it your will that Jewel Celestial shall be baptized in the faith of the church which you have professed with, it, with us. Okay. If you just kind of put her head over the water. I tried to warm up the water, Jewel. Jewel, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit, Amen. Water of life, cleanse and refresh right. her, raise her to life in Christ Jesus. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and to welcome you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king 
so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Amen. When Jesus came up out of the water of his baptism, God said, this is my beloved son. At this moment, we can hear God say, Jewel, you are my blessed child. Jewel, that's okay. Jewel, you have become a new creation. You have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained to everlasting life in heaven. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as a child of light. May she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart. When the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. The Lord Jesus made the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. You have put on Christ. In him you have been baptized. Amen. May I hold her? It is now. It is now with great joy that I introduce to you Jewel Celestial, the newest member of God's holy family. And a collective cheer goes up from the crowd. Yay. Yay. All right. What a doll. Beautiful. Thank you. You can blow out the candle and have a seat. Ouch. Okay. You may have a seat. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis and Bishop Johnson, that their prayers for Christian unity and renewal by quickly, be quickly fulfilled, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy, hear our prayers. For our President, Governor, Mayor, and members of Congress, that the Holy Spirit inspire and strengthen them to, in their service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For students and teachers finishing the school year, that prayer, Eucharist, and charity remain on their schedule throughout the summer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those oppressed by any kind of need, that the Lord graciously grant them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this body of believers that we always aspire to please God and to do his will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the missionary sisters in Colombia, in whom we are building a special relationship of prayer and unity. May God richly pour out the spirit anew on them and the congregation they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. That those who have died will rest forever in the loving embrace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, in your mercy, mercy hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those on the prayer line, all those that have asked us to pray for them, and for your intentions that you hold ever so close to your hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. We remember Gerald Champ, whose intention we honor at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our pleas. 
when we call to you and grant these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Only this I want, but to know the Lord and to bear his cross, so to wear the crown he wore. All but this is lost, worthless refuge to me. For to gain the Lord is to gain all I need. Only this I want, but to know. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide the twofold needs of the human nature, nourishing us with food, and renew us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body, honor, spirit, through, our Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with what one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it 
to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and one more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to take the word. I don't say the word, and my soul In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fire is drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness Scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on the cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ I live. There in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain. Then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again. And as he stands in victory, since curse has lost its grip on me, for I am his and he is mine, bought with the precious blood of Christ. No guilt in life, no fear in death, this is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ I'll stand.
just a few announcements. Steak dinner will be on Thursday, June 17th, 4.30 to 7.30, sponsored by the Knights of Columbus, and they will be selling tickets after Mass. Bob Betcher will be selling, so please stop by and buy your ticket for this dinner. Family Faith Formation registration will be available after Sunday Masses this weekend. Bishop William, jo William Johnson has assigned one of the newly ordained priests to be our new associate pastor, and his name is Deacon Jake Epstein. The priestly ordination, his priestly ordination will be live streamed on June 25th at 5 p.m. here at Corpus Christi Parish if you'd like to attend. So we are anxious to receive Deacon Jake into our community. And before we go into our final announcements, a special blessing for the mom. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with her in thanking him forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. amen. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by which they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, you may be seated. Please, the parents, bring you. Please, bring, bring her. <laughs> My country, we have a tradition when some of the parents they baptize the kids, the priests consecrate to Jesus Christ and to Our Lady of Guadalupe. She has a very good lungs. <laughs> we have one. In the future, we will have one new member of the choir. Linda, please <laughs> invite her. <laughs> I want to say thank you all our volunteers, especially thank you our lectors, our respected ministers. And Pansy, thank you. Thank you, Linda, for the choir. Thank you, Deacon Monty. And thank you, Andrew, and all of you to be here. I appreciate it. Please stand up for the prayer.
hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm, while to that rock I'm singing. Since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear that music ringing. It sounds and echoes in my soul. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm. While to that rock I'm clinging, since love.